going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Knights of Horror, and it is a special, very, very special episode of the Knights of the Round Table because we have every single person in the Knights of Horror in one Zoom call today. This is a rare sighting. This is more. Is this rare first than a, time? I mean, I mean, this is first time. You know how rare this is more rare of a sighting than actual mm. Bigfoot. <laughs> like you're more than likely to see Bigfoot that. than this whole crew put together. I mean, this I, this never happened. This is the first time we've ever we always ever had four of the five, and that's the most we've ever had. We have five of the five today. Today here, I am joined <laughs> on my left uh, of the screen, where I don't know where I'll edit him in. I'll probably try to keep it simple. On my left of the screen, we got Will Martinez. I am. How's it going? Our HHN updater in the theme parks uh, as of late. If you guys been watching those construction updates, they're all provided by Will. Um, I am. So. Will I am? There you go. Thank you, uh, Sam. To my right, uh, it's the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Robert Estrada, the Howling Hour, on the fence, movie reviews, a boo bro, all that good right. stuff. That's right. To the bottom left, I have Mr. Made in USA himself, Mr. Logan. How you doing? Me? You. Yeah, you. Going on, it's Mr. Rock. It's it's. I'm I'm not a rock star. I just pretend to be a rock. Star. <laughs> <laughs> I tributize rock stars. <laughs> Sooner, uh, coming soon, uh, the Doc and tribute. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it's not happening. Yo, oh, well, uh, <laughs> and you've heard happened? it here first. And you've heard it here first, man. I, I don't know. I felt like I was the only one trying to move this thing along. Schedules weren't lining up, so I finally put it to bed. Listen, I will, honestly, learn, I will learn all the Dawkins songs so I can be your no, vocalist. I, honestly, I was looking at my schedule, and I don't even know how I would have done a second band, man, because Made in USA, we're booking more and more shows as things are opening up and with school and work and planning a wedding next year. I mean, it's I don't know how I would have done that. Busy man. Anyways, busy man. I'm not going to take up all, all this time, so let's introduce uh, the man, the, introduce myth, the, next the person. legend, Mr. Sexy himself, Samuel Martinez. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here in the presence of greatness uh, and to talk our favorite event in Hollywood. In Hollywood. <laughs> that was so in intense. It was, it was so dramatic. <laughs> uh, I'm your host uh, with the most, Anthony Zaragoza. We are here to talk about Halloween horror. What do you have the most of? Uh, the most of podcasts that I do. Because I got a podcast for about everything out there now. Um, we're here to talk about one of our favorite events, Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, speculation for 2021 season. There's a speculation map that broke out. We want to talk about it, break it down. Our thoughts, uh, opinions, all that good stuff is coming up right now. Um, so let's assemble all the troops. Let's get to the round table and let's talk about this HHN speculation map provided by HN Nightmares. So let's let's just let's start it off. Obviously, the first one we got two mazes and a gauntlet. Okay, speculated mazes were Halloween Three: Season of the Witch, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Gauntlet was unknown. We were given a second speculation map with a total of seven mazes. One scare zone, which they don't know yet. No shows as of yet. Let's talk about the first one that we know is pretty much almost 100% confirmed. One I know Logan's looking forward to a lot. More zombies than we, ever? We're, we're just, uh, the I'm Return gonna... of the Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. No, we're going to talk about Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, which is speculated to be in the water world queue. The one I want to start, I want this conversation to start off first because I want to hear his thoughts about it. Mr. Logan, take it away. I have to try to keep composure uh, when, when talking about this. Uh, he, he, as you guys know, I'm a fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge Halloween three fan. Uh, I've been, I've been defending this movie since I saw it as a kid. I understood as a kid that Michael Myers wasn't in it. So I knew that going in. And I just got shot on by even like some members of my family that are big into horror. Like, oh, you don't, you don't want to watch that one. Then I watched it. I was like, what is everybody talking about? It's so damn good. It's so dark, too. And uh, I, I, I still think it's better than anything to come after, in, 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 my, in my own opinion. Um, but I can't believe they're actually doing a maze for, for, 
for this. I I I I, I thought when when Murdy did Halloween four in twenty eighteen that he purposely skipped over Halloween three. And it wasn't, I, I wasn't insulted by it. I wasn't upset about it because I figured that's what would have happened because I, not in my lifetime would I ever thought that Halloween 3 would be getting this big public event. Like, because it's such a cult film, nobody likes it except for people like us. So uh, I, this is going to be a real treat. I, I'm going to definitely be going through it multiple times. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm struck. I, 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 I can't wait. All right, uh, I'm, 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 I think I'm on the level of excitement for you too. I mean, I, I'm on the same boat with you know, I wasn't a fan of this film until I rewatched it later on, and appreciate it to what it for what it was. Uh, just a great cult classic at this point. Uh, very creepy premise too. I was talking to Rob about that last week. A very creepy premise of the fact so that, dark. The fact that there's this, there's this cult who want to who build you know make these masks and they want to just essentially kill kids and their families. Man, that's. Let's twist it and sinister if you really think about it. You know, try making something like that today, man. It's just yeah. a lot of a lot of controversy with that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, at the time when that movie came out, I think nothing like it was really ever ever made. I never seen anything like that prior to that film coming out. So, to to see it come to life in HHN, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot I want to see. Uh, we all know Waterworld is a very small area for a maze. But I think with that small area, they can pull off some of the best iconic scenes from that film. So, Will, uh, you, you've been in the front lines every week, giving us construction updates, whatnot. What are your thoughts about this maze coming? I mean, you're the one that really broke the news of, you know, the Rose of Shannon and, and leading it to Halloween 3. So, you know, what do you think about this, man? Well, when I saw that, like, sign, I was kind of like, oh, shit, no way. Because it was kind of, you know, we got in that peaks earlier in January. But um, this was kind of cool confirmation that, like, this is really happening. Um, but I'm kind of in the same camp. It's like, who, who the fuck would put Halloween 3 at Halloween Horror Nights? Like, almost none of it makes sense. And I am so excited. That's one of my favorites in the entire franchise. Because, um you know, going in as an older fan, I kind of knew what I was getting into, no Michael Myers or anything like that. And uh, I'd heard all the negative reviews and whatnot. And I watched it and I was, I was baffled. I was like, this is incredible. What the, <laughs> what are these people talking about? And uh, it's got killer maze potential. I can't wait to see it come in the fall. Right, man. It's, it's going to be a fun time. And obviously we know uh, Will will be there. He, he, you know, he gets reservations for us to, to go down keep you guys informed so stay tuned on the channel we'll be having a lot more construction updates leading up to opening day uh will uh we appreciate your contributions man getting the word out there helping us update what's going on at universal studios hollywood man it's absolutely good gotta have a blast doing it yeah yeah man uh rob i know me and you talked a little bit about this last week man what are your what are your uh kind of your thoughts about this here's the thing and i i've said it before i'll say it again um, I know how specifically in this group, I know the big fans that we have of this specifically like uh, Logan, you. Um, and so I'm happy for you guys to get a maze that, you know, I feel like it's just kind of in your heart's desire of mazes to kind of come to HHN. Um, me for one, I'm, I'm never, I don't, when I see a movie, I never think like, oh, this wouldn't good make a good maze or I, because Yes, it doesn't. I mean, small cameo uh, from Michael Myers, but like like how Will said, this maze. I mean, this movie has so much maze potential that they can do so many cool uh, scenes. And and yes, we we know the water water world queue is quite small, but we've had some bangers in there that have been heavy hitters. And I think Halloween three is going to be added after this after this season. It's going to be added in there to one of the greater mazes to be in that area. Right. Yeah, man. Hope so. No doubt. Sammy, uh, what are your thoughts on this, man? I know, I know you've never seen this film, but what are your thoughts on this? Yeah. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Back up. Back <laughs> back up. <laughs> are you surprised at you... this point, Logan? This guy hasn't seen a lot of films. I'm, I'm not. Oh, you know what? No, I, I, I am surprised because I've been on this channel for about a year now. And he, we've, I, when there's, we've given all kinds of shit for not seeing these movies. I would have thought that the peer pressure would have gotten him to see some of these, man. I'm insulted. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I, I want to watch the film. It's not that I don't want to watch the film. 
I'm just waiting for Tony to buy it on Voodoo uh, so I can watch it on his dime. It'll be coming pretty soon. <laughs> Trust me. He told me it was coming <laughs> soon. Is it on Shutter? Uh, it was. It's not anymore. Because uh, that was the first thing I looked up when I got Shutter. <laughs> not even lying. First the first thing. thing I looked, I was like, Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Let's see if it's up. Yeah, so as soon as, um, you know, Tony decides it's in his heart's desire to buy the film <laughs> on Voodoo, I will be watching the film. <laughs> Listen, you know I'm gonna so, buy it because you know we're gonna probably do a live stream when that mo- when that maze gets announced, like we do every single year yeah. for preparation. Yes, I know, and so I'm, I'm well prepared. And then at that time when we're doing the live stream, I'll probably have to rent the film. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so I send this man a copy. <laughs> <laughs> well, but maybe maybe if I really like it. And maybe if it's all that you all shake it up to be, maybe yeah. I will buy it. That's 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 my worry. I feel like we're gonna hype this movie up. He's just gonna watch it and go, why do they like this movie so much? It's usually how a lot of people <laughs> are. Yeah. That's how it was with that one movie. What movie is it? Where the girl gets her head taken off when she's driving in the car. Hereditary. Oh, hereditary. Uh, Everyone hyped that movie listen, up so much. Hereditary is way better than Midsummer. Oh, hands down. I agree with you there. Yeah, I got I got yeah. hands down. And you know this because yeah, you I'll... fell asleep in the theater of Midsummer. Yeah. I would rather <laughs> I don't blame die. him. I hated I mean, Midsummer. So boring. I hate I've it. I've tried to rewatch it and I'm still just like, does it really need to be like three hours? Like my fiance and I are complete opposites on that. She loved Midsummer, did not like Hereditary. I, I'm complete opposite. I thought Hereditary was weird. Better. I liked Hereditary. But everyone was like, oh, this is the greatest film. It's so I, scary. No, I, I'm, not, I'm never going to watch Hereditary ever again. I, I, I even own it, but I'll never watch it ever because it's one of the few film, the, the, one of the few films that actually scare the shit out of me. Uh, seriously, I, that, I was thinking about that movie for weeks after I saw it. Yeah, See, they didn't know. Like, film. And that was the other thing, too. People hyped it up because I'm a scaredy cat. Like, we all know that. That's really? no secret. I'm, I'm a huge scaredy cat. No secrets. Like, The Conjuring 2 messed me up. It still messes me up to this the day. The Nun. You would have loved the Reign of Terror maze. So, oh, Hereditary, so her- Hereditary didn't scare you at all, Sammy? No, so it, it didn't. was way scarier than The Conjuring movies. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wait, where did you watch Maybe Hereditary? It was... What was yeah. the context? Yeah. Did you watch it at I home? I watched it. In theaters? Watched it at home. With surround oh. sound. It was dark. I, it was, maybe it was where maybe because it was how I watched it. I watched it in all, in an almost empty theater, so uh, that was pretty. That was pretty scary. Yeah, yeah. But uh, back to Halloween, um, Halloween season of the witch here. Um, I'm super excited. You guys mentioned this, the word you guys keep mentioning is cult classic, and I think that's what Murdy do it does well. Last cult classic I think of him doing for the Clown's Matter Space, which is arguably in everyone's top three of 2019 or else like there's something wrong with your brain i think number one for me <laughs> what i know it's done number one what? number, number one. one dude number Maybe one right all-time now. favorite maze right there buddy top, <laughs> i would say yeah top three of 2019 at least yeah that's the top number one of all the years i've won Really? Yes, that me that maze. I got to go inside the ship. So I've been dreaming of that since I was a kid. Got to see the clowns. Got to see freaking the puppet. Freaking you know what else? I, I, what's that? Ross, oh, no, I was say, Anthony, you know what else you you got to see was another door. Another door. Another door. Another door. Sammy was there for another door. <laughs> another I door. Grant Kramer to say it again. All these years oh, later. How many people can say, say that now you made him do that? And now is when you insert Grant Grant Kramer on that on that podcast saying another door. <laughs> Something that I love in this movie a lot that you say another door. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it was he coming knew it right away. <laughs> another door. Like thank you. Another <laughs> door. Grant, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, like that's, dream of dreams come true, man. Yes, they do. They do. Yes, and this is uh, Logan's dream coming true. Halloween, dude. Three honestly, of the th- th- it feels too good to be true. I'm waiting out for one for one moment for them to pull the plug on it, and all my hopes and dreams to be great. I know, it dude. feels like a fan. It feels like a fan maze. It feels like this is a this is a total fan maze that I, I just I, I think it's really ballsy of Marty 
to put this, especially this year when the budget is a lot lower for Horror Nights and they're going to put Halloween 3 there. Like, especially, my respect level. it's not even a shared property. It's looking like it's only going to be Hollywood exclusive. And that, my respect level for Murdy is going way up. Like, that's just a ballsy move. He's an obvious diehard fan of, 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 of the film. And I know he wants to do every Halloween movie uh, ever, eventually. I didn't, I guess I didn't take him seriously. I thought he was completely going to skip over three. So, well, we all kudos knew it was to coming, him. dude. Every, every Halloween maze they've ever done at the event has always included an Easter egg to Halloween's three season of the Witch. Oh, totally. Yeah. I just didn't think they were going to. I just didn't think they were going to do an entire maze on it. Like whether just, whether it would have been the, the you know the flashing TV screen or the the masks, they've always <sighs> been represented in every Halloween. I maze. love I love that freaking movie. John Carpenter's score. It's like a lot of fans say, uh, even though John didn't direct that movie. Um, fun fact: Tommy Lee Wallace, who directed it, directed uh, Halloween Three, and Tommy Lee Wallace also designed the uh, original Michael Myers mask. So it's all in the family, pretty much. But I think uh, John's score. A Halloween three is one of his. But he, he co-wrote so that film too, right? And he produced it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and produced it. Yeah. So that was as much of a brain love child for him than it was for Tommy. Oh, so excited, so excited! I I could spend the next hour just talking about this. We should <laughs> we should probably carry on. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the <laughs> obvious one out of the way. No one uh, is really excited for this. The Walking Dead attraction is returning. Uh, yes. Speculated. Hey, speak for yourself, man. That's that's <laughs> number one anticipated <laughs> on my list. Every uh, number one. More Dude, there's gonna be more ever. walkers than ever. Ever, man. Ever. What's there not to love? You know, last 2019 they had a, a, a photo op with just one. Now they're now they're putting two in it. <laughs> two. I'm pretty sure I got two zombies last year or oh, the year dude. the 2019. I got two zombies. I got one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you got the hookup, Rob. <laughs> I know. They're Rob, like, oh, Rob's here. How an hour? Rob's, Give him yeah, two. Rob, Rob's here. We're Send two. another We're zombie two. out man, there. You know I want to. Come on. <laughs> Uh, Walking Dead attraction obviously closed back in uh, February of 2020. Is that correct? February 2020 was it? It was before yeah, pandemic. That sounds right. Pre pandemic. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, closed back down. Closed the stores February 2020. We've seen what it looks like uh, now with the park being open. Doesn't even look like the same facade or anything. Everything's just painted to blend in with the normal kind of looking uh, area they're trying to you know disguise it as. Um, finally fixed up that helicopter. Got it flying around again. Yeah, they got it flying around. You know, yeah. they took it down. They flipped the <laughs> helicopter, sold it for twice as much money. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's looking like it's just staying there as dead space right now. Uh, a lot of fans are either petitioning to make this a new permanent, um, Horror Nights location so they can make mazes in that. So gut it and then make mazes with it, or give Hollywood their own tribute store. Like how they have in Orlando, um, so we'll see what that happens. But it's it's looking like speculated right now. It's the Walking Dead uh, attraction making its return to Halloween Horror Nights 2021. Wasn't there also? I don't remember if it was this year or like last year or something like that. Right when it closed, they sent out some weird like the Walking Dead will return at yeah Halloween Horror they Nights. did. Was it 2020 or 2021? Yeah, during the yeah like I think at the start of the pandemic. Yeah, they like right. released that like oh, Rocket Dead will return to HHN. So uh, that one's pretty much almost 100 percent confirmed at this point. It's too easy to not. I mean, yeah. you just literally like open the doors and it's like, <laughs> oh, like it's ready to go. You know what I mean? Throw like three people inside there and like, all right, sick. It's good to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about the Parisian courtyard. We thought this was it was speculated to be a gauntlet at first. Now it's being speculated to be, I believe. Uh, the Bride of Frankenstein Lives, which is the next installment of the uh, amazingly successful Universal Monsters. Um, so far now, it's a trilogy of mazes that have been at the event the last couple of years. We started, obviously, with Universal Monsters. Gave you the normal slate of the monsters. You had Dracula, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, Invisible Man, the Phantom of the Opera, Bride of Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein, uh, the Mummy, so so on and so forth. Um then the next year we got, you know, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, another solid maze in the Universal Monsters uh, saga. Uh, obviously both music by Slash. This year we're predicting, now that we know that Orlando already had it last year, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. I am, so, you know, a lot of people are saying why still do this even though if Orlando did it, but I don't think a lot of people realize Hollywood's and Orlando's are two different things. It's two different experiences. We always get music by Slash because Slash obviously loves Hollywood more than he loves Orlando. That's just a given fact. Um, 
and <laughs> you know, Murdy tends to to do his own take on it and his own designs on it, which I really love. What are you guys' thoughts about Universal Monsters: The Brides? It's seeming like it's going to be Bride of Frankenstein, or uh, yeah, the Bride of Frankenstein and the the Dracula's Brides. Uh, we'll start over with Will today. Yeah. So. This maze, I am super, super excited um, for. I think it's a really, really cool opportunity. Uh, it could pan out pretty different than a lot of our previous Universal Monster um, uh, mazes have turned out. Um, I really love uh, uh, the movie. Um, it's one of my favorites in the Universal Monsters catalog. And uh, I think there's cool potential for a lot of those scenes to be uh, in a maze. I know from my construction updates, we were seeing some vertical building in um in uh, the courtyard if you peek through some of the cracks so there's probably going to be some real big set pieces and props so i'm kind of excited they tend to have some pretty uh pretty incredible mazes in the Parisian courtyard area i'm super ready for this one yeah uh rob what are your thoughts about uh, brighter frankenstein lives um i'm excited for it as well uh i I enjoyed the previous two mazes that we've got, you know, the Universal Monsters and Fra uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. I think th these mazes, I think the word I'm, I'm going to use is I think they're really beautiful and they're really detailed mazes. I like, especially uh, with um, uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, just like, you know, when you're walking through it, you know, like the brick and the detail. So I'm excited for that. And also, e yes, even though they got it, like you were saying last year over in Orlando, um, we get our own spin on it. And, and, you know, not to, not to do a plug or anything, but I've been watching your, uh, Anthony yours and Eddie's the East versus West, how you've been doing the coast comparison kind of things. Right. And, and it's the same property, but you get like different takes on it and, and they're both good. And they're both like, it, it's not the same thing. So they're different. So I think, you know, bring that over here. Murdy's going to put his spin on it and he's going to do, you know, what he does to these mazes. And, and there, I think, again, it's going to look beautiful and it's going to be probably one of the better mazes at the event. I, I, I completely agree. Uh, we all know Murdy always puts his own spin on things and, and he does the way he does things. Him and Chris, uh, you know, they both have good, great creative minds together when they work together uh, and their teams really help bring that all to life. Uh, Logan, our horror movie encyclopedia. What do you think about this one coming to the event, man? Well, I'm always excited for anything Universal Monsters related. Um, my one gripe that I have is that my boy Creature from the Black Creature from the Black Lagoon always gets forgotten about. I don't. They just got a vendetta against them. I've held out hope ever since that first Universal Monsters maze in 2018. I was. I mean, they had. Phantom of the Opera and the Invisible Man and at the end a little cameo from the Hunchback but they couldn't fit the creature from the Black Lagoon in that maze so every year I've every you know Frankenstein meets the Wolfman I, I assume there wouldn't be creature in that but I was holding out hope this year that we get some form maybe not a whole maze about him but he'd be in there in some capacity um so I don't know the probably it, it, I don't see how he'd fit in uh in a Friday Frankenstein maze, but nonetheless, I'm very excited. Anything kind of like what Rob said, those mazes are always really beautifully done. Uh, I love how gothic they are and it's smart for them to pull from the Universal Monsters catalog, especially this year, because they already own the property. So it, 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 it's a good maze kind of on a budget. They can, I'm sure they could reuse a lot of older props that they've used in the past couple of mazes. Maybe not for the whole thing. I wouldn't want that, but you know, for little things here and there. I'm still holding out hope we'll get a creature maze at least. Like, I don't know, maybe a, a Universal Monsters maze featuring like kind of like the B-side monsters, like the monsters that didn't, that don't get as much love as Dracula and the Frankenstein monster like creature and like the Lon Chaney Phantom of the Opera, even though he had his own little scene in, in, uh, the, in the other house and uh, a Hunchback, the old Hunchback, you know, be cool to see some of those other monsters. But nonetheless, but I, I won't keep going on on this. But yeah, brides brides is gonna be pretty cool. I'm sure. Couldn't agree more, man. Sammy, take it away, buddy. You're the last one. What you got? Take me home. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> Just <kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> Got to sing a little bit. Um, I am completely excited for this because 2018, I didn't go to the event, much to my dismay. And I regret not being able to go through Universal Monsters. Oh, so good. See, 
only only maze in 2018 where I was like, I really wish I got to go through that maze because yeah. I knew it was like a once in a lifetime maze. Obviously, um, uh, Frankenstein um, and Wolfman off the chain. Um, and so I anticipate the same brides will be off the chain. My hope is um, it'll lead into the Parisian courtyard as well. Like they did last year with Holidays in Hell, where as you exit the maze, there's still that little extra little feature right there. Right. So uh, that's that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping we get some outdoor scenes as well. Those are always nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, and we already know if Slash is going to be on this. I mean, crossing our fingers will be on it. Um, he's going to bring a killer track. I mean, listen, the guy's had about a year to create something. I think that's yeah. plenty of time, yeah. you know. <laughs> he hasn't been on tour because everything was on hold, you know. Yeah. He, he, he was probably just sitting there bullshitting with the guitar like, yo, this sounds good for brides. Let's put that in there, <laughs> man. It's going to be a banger. You know, uh, Universal would be smart to release uh, vinyls and whatnot of, of all the music that they've done thus far. That would make them that's a good That's a good book. idea. Yeah. yeah that's Have, a like, really an exclusive, good like, actual vinyl disc that looks, like, legit, like, has an art on it. And then oh, I'd have, buy it. Yeah, I'd have like a that. platinum maybe package of like both Universal Monsters, Universal Monsters, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, and then the Brides, like a little trilogy box set with yeah. like really exclusive. But like cool. imagine it comes with like exclusive artwork that was like uh, concept art that they had that they didn't use and whatnot. Like I think a lot of fans Take my money. that. Oh, hold on, Take guys. Hold on, guys. Yep. M Murdy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, we, we need Creature. Creature <laughs> and some vinyls from Slash. Get on it. Oh, yeah, and we also Murdy. want... We also want holidays in hell. We want. That oh, he's 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 gone already. I gotta call him back later. <laughs> okay, we, we, we want that. You know what, Rob? You know what? Set up a lunch. We'll, we'll set up a lunch. We'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, yeah lunch. <laughs> set up a lunch. Yeah, uh... that would be super sick, actually, with their big because they've been doing a big push for like the Universal monsters, like merchandise and right. stuff, and then having a bigger presence in the parks. Hopeful or in Orlando, I know they were talking about having a whole like land dedicated to the universal monsters in that wow. new park of that theirs. would be awesome wow so, that would be i awesome. universe, don't remember if that was confirmed but epic universe is rumored right now to have a whole universal monsters right. land and a lot of people are hoping it's all in black and white <laughs> so like you'd be the only oh, kind that's of so like, cool. you'd be like everything's black and white and then like you'd be like the only kind of color going in you know what i mean like I, I see you're the they ones were that are transforming to into color again they got to get Murdy and Aiello on that one. Yeah, like, dude. I see they were listening that. to the Maze Treatments episode where I was talking about Twilight Zone being all black and white. Yeah, man. I, I, I like, see him, They're like, we'll do you one better. <laughs> we'll make a whole land out of it. <laughs> um, Brides is going to be good. It looks good at over at Orlando. They always kill it with their scenic designs and whatnot. Uh, it looked phenomenal. Uh, even the plexiglass couldn't hold back of how good that maze was. Uh, you know, you give you give a hundred ten percent as a scare actor, and you use what's around you and your surroundings, and you can make anything scary. So hats off to all those scare actors out there that had to work with the plexiglass, the masks, and everything. Uh, it's not the ideal haunt season we wanted, but hats off to you for still even giving it a shot and fucking nailing it. So. Let's move down to the lower lot. Uh, Will's been covering this one on the channel a lot lately, too. Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the Mummy Queue. We've been seeing a lot of uh, progression happen since the parks have reopened for a taste of Universal. Um, even now, with the parks open, we're seeing even more progression. You know, we started seeing, uh, dare I say it, black walls. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're starting to see a little more bit more facade. More black walls than ever. Yeah, more black walls than <laughs> ever, man. You thought 2019 was bad. Here we go, 2021. Uh we're starting to see more progression go on with the facade of the maze, which obviously is looking like the Sawyer house. Um, we're starting to see a little bit more scenic uh, design going on at the end of the maze, which is happens to be some little kind of like shed cubby hole from what I can make of it. Every time I watch the, uh, the, the uh, construction updates. Um, what do you guys think of Texas Chainsaw Massacre making a return to Halloween Horror Nights 2021? I'm going to go. Um, who's going to go? Go ahead, Will. Oh, cool. Um, I think it's, I'm super excited. I don't, I don't think I've ever actually experienced Texas Chainsaw Massacre in any other capacity other than Terror Tram. Right. Cause I didn't see Titans of Terror the Maze that year. And other than that, and I would be so stoked to see that. Um, and it looks, I mean, you know what? Uh, Mummy Q is always a really tough, um, like maze spot because, you know, there's not a whole lot of room like width wise. So you really got to work with your tight little hallways and stuff like that. And when you got these 
big fucking huge leather face actors in close quarters with these chainsaws i think it could only be <laughs> so sick yeah i i don't i don't see how that could be um not awesome and yeah. uh it's also cool to see you know normally in the last bit of the maze uh it's normally only black walls to finish it out but to see some set stuff going up there is definitely promising Hopefully yeah that means the rest of the maze as well and if anyone knows obviously this is actually going to i think this i believe this is going to be the first time texas chainsaw massacre has ever taken over the mummy queue uh previous years it's been in the jurassic world uh line queue it's been at water world um and that's the only really two locations i can really think it's been uh actually uh, actually the the first two years i went 2007 2008 when that before it was transformers it was a line queue for what, what, what was over there the special effects yeah. show too yeah so over over where you would start walking towards the mummy queue they actually had the sawyer house from the remake because that's what the maze was on was the 2003 right. remake so in a sense it was there but it wasn't in that little tight little narrow corridor that it right had. Um, obviously, previous years have housed Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Trick or Treat, The Shining, uh, all, in my opinion, The Exorcist, Great Mazes. Uh, it seems like Mummy Q never fails, at least in my opinion, never disappoints at all with the tight space that they're given. I know Will just mentioned that. So, I mean, everything they've they've brought to life there has been successful. Um, also always the wait time department. Yeah, the wait times are always two hours max, uh, minimum two. So, uh, so max and minimum, it's max and minimum. Dude. <laughs> there's just no, there's no like in between, you know, you, unless you get there like super early and st wait in line to the event opens up, then, you know, you're going to be waiting a good two hours for those mazes. Uh, Sammy, what do you think about TCM returning? Oh, I'm real stoked on this one. Uh, when I was a wee little lad, <laughs> probably like 2004, maybe I, I, experienced the remake of texas chainsaw massacre and that was uh that that one didn't sit well with me um i don't like loud noises and uh chainsaws equal loud noises and um it's gonna be real scary uh, we're so, gonna get through it as a family so we're putting um, sammy in the problem. front of the line exactly oh, 100%, we're, we're, we're putting sammy in the front with yeah, the GoPro podcast, with the GoPro, I'm gonna be yeah. gone. Yeah. With well, you the know, GoPro. to be honest, to be completely honest, I would rather be in the front of a maze than the back, because I feel like in the back, they, at least if they know I'm scared, they're gonna continue to come <laughs> with me. I've experienced that a lot with knots. Um, so in the front, front or front or no go, right, buddy? Front or no go. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's go with that quote. <laughs> Front or no go? <laughs> you went there, okay? Uh, anyway, Sam, you're gonna get our channel canceled, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we really are. Um, all right, Rob. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Good old Bubba coming home. What you think? Oh man. Um, I, <laughs> um, <laughs> I love I love the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I think they always always do great mazes. Uh, I had this conversation with you, uh, Anthony, about how the smell smells like bacon. It doesn't you know, smell like bacon. It's supposed to be what rotting kind of flesh. That, what, what bacon do you eat that smells it, like that? It, the apple wood flavored kind. Be and okay, it, hold on. Let's let's pause right here. Okay, let's I pause. I need all these guys' thoughts. When you walk through a Texas Chainsaw Massacre maze, do you smell bacon? Because I smell gore. What does gore smell like? Throw up. <laughs> That's a saw oh. maze. That's what saw maze is smelling like. But um, I'm, I... I'm kind of with Rob on this one. It's a little barbecue-y. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, you could go barbecue because they actually do barbecue people. But it doesn't smell like bacon. Well, I it's just... definitely porky. It's definitely porky. All I'm saying Almost... is that when I walk through there and I hit that smell hits me, I get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Not with that I'm... property. That property is about slaughtering people. Dude, <laughs> what kind dude. of marinades you guys think? Dude, <laughs> dude, 
I dare you to bring a turkey leg in there with you. Uh, come haunt season, eat Robaka uh, in there. <laughs> low face actor's gonna look at you like, really, dude? What the hell? <laughs> Be like, something, something is wrong with this guy. Right you might here. as well just bring some seasoning salt and some garlic salt. Just get ready and start a barbecue pretty, in there. I'm pretty sure some of those props they have in there might be real. I could just take a little bit, but <laughs> anyways, I love salt bay. <laughs> yeah, I love Texas Chainsaw. Um, I think the mazes they put on have been great. The, uh, these mazes are your gory, your violent, your sca chainsaw scare mazes that are kind of the staple of HHN and they smell like delicious meat. So that's why I love these mazes. I think you got a lot wrong up here. <laughs> Uh, Logan, uh, you, you've, you've seen a lot of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre maids come and go through this event. What do you think about this making a return for this year? Oh, it's always a good, it's, it's always nice when I see a, a, a Texas Chainsaw maze come back to the event. There, there's never been one of walk through that's disappointed me. They're always fun. It's definitely going to be the gore maze of, of the event for sure. Uh, like I said, my, my first year was in 2007 and to this day, that 2003 remake maze that they did, uh, it hands down is is in my top three horror nights mazes of all times. I, I wish they'd bring it back for people to experience. It was, and that's what that's when the event was only like three or four mazes, uh, and so there were there were no black walls. Like it was, they 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 put all their money into those mazes, and it was very impressive. Um, and uh, of course, in, in the remake the Sawyer house is like very big mansion-y with pillars in the front and right. they did they went all out for that facade um but it, and like what Rob said I love the smells because it's so terrifying and gross and also makes me a little hungry I'm not gonna lie um but I feel like they don't do the smells as much anymore uh I, I remember they I think was it Titans of Terror was the last time we saw Leatherface I I could be wrong I don't really remember that many smells in that maze uh, but I remember it was pretty strong when I went my first couple of years and they brought that. It was, it was awesome. Um, but no, I, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm interested to see if they're going to base it on the first one, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the original 1976, uh, or is it 76 or 74? 76. Uh, anyway, 76. Uh, the original 76, or is it going to be on the new one? That's, that's the big question because they've already done right. a Texas Chainsaw Maze on the original. So wonder what they're going to do. I personally think this is going to be the original film because of the new movie set to come out this year, which is mm. going to be a direct sequel from that film. So they're, they're Halloween 2018 it, man. They're going to scrap it all and go from the first one. And years later, what they've been doing that. They've been doing that in this franchise so much that people talk about how Halloween does that. Texas Chainsaw has been doing that since they before Halloween. Uh, you know, I'll plug something in here. If you want to go see a Texas Chainsaw Massacre timeline video, go check out the channel. We have one. <laughs> We've breaking down that timeline, and it is very complicated, so go check it it's out. It's so complicated. Yeah, man. Uh, reboots, freaking origin stories, everything. Every movie's a reboot. Yeah, Every sequel's a reboot. <laughs> reboots, origin stories, everything, man. So go check that out. But anyway, uh, I'm excited for the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre film to come out, and I hope it's I hope it lives up to that first one. Uh, since the first one, I don't think there's any other other Texas Chainsaw film that I can say is as good as that one. That one's on like the oh. tippity top. Oh, I disagree. That's like the classic <laughs> original. That's what started it all, dude. You're gonna say two, okay. aren't you? <laughs> Am I that predictable? Yeah, everyone, I, everyone <laughs> I talk to says two. Okay, two's good, I'll give you but this. it's not nearly the, that good, man. The first, the first one is the best. I'll give you that. It's the better movie. But if I'm gonna put one on, I, I'm probably gonna put two on because it's just so fucking batshit crazy. Um, so much going on in that film. Freaking, it's so weird, and I love it. You got the guy with the hanger, fucking burning it and hitting it. Bill Mosley. Bill Mosley is just like, I'm like, what is happening? What is that? What are you smelling your own burnt scalp or? Dude, my my fiance freaking hates that character it terrifies her like i always go up to her and i go uh is this a real radio station <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> incoming um, mail no, i freaking love him in that movie <laughs> so tcm mummy q should be a fun time sammy you're gonna have to take it away on this next one because i know you're looking forward to this fucking property coming to the event the Haunting yeah. of Hill House, Soundstage 29 is where it's rumored to go, speculated. Sammy, 
What do you want to see in this maze? What, what do you really do? You want to get as scared as you got watching that damn show? How do you want to? How do you want this maze to go for you? Yeah, if I don't leave that maze crying, um, it's a disappointment. <laughs> I either want to be crying because it was beautiful, <laughs> or crying because I pooped myself because I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> so you got two options: either well me or scare me. You got two options. <laughs> do not give me Stranger Things too. Because if I get Stranger Things too, I'm going to guest relations and say, I need my ticket refunded because this was complete BS. He's going to be crying for a third reason. <laughs> no, no, I won't be. Uh, that'll be angry. That'll be angry. It won't be tears. Starts a riot right there in front of Transformers. <laughs> Just burn it down. This is a waste of space. <laughs> oh, man. But, but uh, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like I, I I have my fears because once again my most anticipated maze of 2019 was Stranger Things 2 because I love Stranger Things and I love Hill House um, and so um, I'm really you know I'm really nervous to be honest but um, you know um, once again Shane was plug go check out our. Uh, maze treatments like you know I, I have some ideas in there and some things we can try Marty um you know some things that'll make me happy let's maybe try an alternate path thing I don't know maybe you know I mean well you're one we'll person compared to an entire fan base yes yes I, I agree I agree um I just need some long hallway scenes I need some ghosts moving statues I need some statues yes. moving um you know, I just need a, I need a good need time. Bent neck lady. A we need a bowler hat, man. Oh yes, yes. I do need a bent neck lady, and I need that animatronic to drop. Yeah. Or I you know what? Let's, let's let's pull out of the cookbook, man. Let's get a little bungee cord action going on. Ooh, now you're speaking my language. Yeah, dude, we got we got to open up the cookbook every now and then, pick out a recipe, just and open sprinkle it, it into the maze, man. And we got ourselves a nice, yeah. successful maze right there. Yes, yes, and we we don't go to that red door. No. We're going to have a great time in that red door. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're going to have some tea, buddy. And I want I want like I want a little kid actor to scare me. <laughs> Logan, what are your thoughts of haunting a hill house, man? Uh, it's going to be awesome, man. I, I really hope that's what comes to to the event. Uh I thought Bly Matter, Bly Matter. Uh god, I'm so dyslexic tonight. Uh Bly Manor was a little bit of a letdown for me. It was good, but it it was it was okay, but I think Hill House was was so good and I'm excited that that's what they're going to be featuring uh, this year. Um, kind of like with Sammy, I'm a little worried just because last year's maze in there was kind of poop. So I'm, I'm really hoping uh, that this one's going to be excellent. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they actually give it a facade. Because if I'm not mistaken, the Stranger Things mazes, there's been like no facade for those, right? It's just black. It's a curtain. nice black wall with the projection so, system. Yeah, it's no, no. I mean, we, we, we need a facade for this. Uh, so that's that. I'm so I'm I'm a little skeptical, but I'm also very excited because I know it's got a large fan base. I would be happy if we didn't get a facade on the outside, but the minute we walk in, we get a giant facade of the actual house. I'd actually okay, be happy I'm with down that. with that. Sure. Yeah. yeah, some kind of facade though. Don't just like take us right into the like right into the like hall of the of of, of the mansion. We don't want that, Murdy. Yeah. We want a full. We a we want some house kind of facade. facade. Yeah. We'll walk in, see a couple ghosts, maybe hear yeah. a little narration from you know our main characters. That's not, definitely. Boom. Yeah, I think it'll be. Philosophy. I don't think it'll be really good. If, if they can pull it off, I'm, I'm I'm really excited for that. Get a little bent neck lady action, little mom action. Yeah. You know. Little, Did you say little... bent neck lady action? Yeah. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> little, 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 uh, little car jump scare scene action right there, man. We all know we love that no, jump scare. No, actually, you know what? I want I want two bungee scenes in here. I want the couch bungee scene too. All right, let's get it. Where the bed neck lady oh, comes down on the couch. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, also, gotta stop. That'd they make cool. you lay down on the couch and then they drop it. I'll do it. Person I'll, goes I'll, up. I'll, I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> It'd be Got cool if in. they had a scene. If they, it'd be cool if they had a scene over near the motel where she's in uh, that it. like that like vending machine little room that's very narrow, and then that neck lady comes out of nowhere. That I don't know. I don't know. I'll be sick. Too, yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of potential for this lots one. that we want to see. There's what like eight or ten episodes to go off of. You know, you gotta oh, condense oh, it down to oh, like five the minutes. Now the you morgue has to be the in morgue. there. The morgue has the morgue to be in is there. The, 
And it needed to be dark, too. Yeah. Barely lit. The funeral scene has to be in there, man. Like, I want you to walk into the room and it's light and drop on the lights. Yeah, man. It's going to be good. I want, I want make a stick walker terrifying. for the bowler hat guy. Be good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Has to, you know, has yeah. to go down. Will, How in the Hell House, have you seen the first season? What do you think of all this? I have seen the first season. I really, I really enjoyed that show. I was actually planning on watching Bly Manor, but after hearing some uh, feedback about it, don't don't listen to people like me. Watch it for yourself. Don't let my opinion spoil <laughs> yeah. it for you. It's a, it's good. It's just not as good as the first one. It's different. It's different. There's no go into it knowing it's not going to be as scary as the first one. But yeah, yeah. it's good. I kind of. I kind of sense that the first one will be like a bit of a lightning in a bottle because it was just that yeah. fantastic. So I don't know if I even want to watch the second one because I don't want I don't want to like taint the first right. one if that makes sense. Right. Um, but I think May's potential this could be killer. Um, I know uh, what's the name of that um, the like floating guy you know the bowler hat guy um, bowler hat yeah. guy. I was thinking like they could have like a little like a prop statue and who uh, spoiler alert we find out is actually the mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, but uh it's been a minute. I need to go back and rewatch before the event. I mean, I've already I'm already dude, I'm already planning all this out for live streams. Oh. I'm thinking about doing two episodes a week when we do freaking Hill House. That way we watch the whole show together, you know, have it all planned out. We'll start probably like mid to early summer. That way we can watch all the films that we need to watch, T V shows, you know. We got it all. Got, we got it all planned out. Nights of Horror is on it, dude. Don't even <laughs> trip. We're gonna we're gonna plan this out. Starting this week, we're gonna do a halfway to Halloween live stream on Saturday, seven o'clock. Boom. I don't know why I brought that up, but I just did. You know, <laughs> back to the double feature: <laughs> Halloween one, Halloween two, halfway to Halloween. We're gonna have a good time, man. So join us Saturday at seven p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Halloween double feature. We're gonna have wait no Halloween one and Halloween twenty eighteen. That's the one we're doing. Because we did already Halloween 2 at a past live stream. Right. Anyway, Hill House is going to be good. <laughs> but yeah, uh, super, super cool. Uh, loved it. And I think it does really have some cool maze potential. A lot of the set design on that show is just stunning. And I think it's something that, you know, Murdy really excels in his set design and like replicating. That's one thing, you know, that I think separates him a little bit from, like, the Orlando strategy is he really replicates these scenes, like, right. really accurately. So I'm so stoked to see this one come. And especially soundstage mazes, never mad at that. Beautiful. Never mad at that. We need more of them. Except if, except if it's Stranger Things season two. Yeah, then, then, or then, Alien then versus Predator <laughs> second year. Hey, I, I, I liked that maze. I, I thought the it was second okay. time around? It was okay. It was the same I, I mean, thing. Comparing it to Stranger Things season two, I'll I'll take that any day. Okay, yeah, I was that's, so that's excited fair. for Stranger Stranger Things season two was my first maze of of, of of the night in 2019, and it left a bad <laughs> bad first impression. It was, and I love season two. A lot of people hate on season two. That's my favorite Stranger Things season. So I was pretty. I was I'm more of a three guy, man. Three was just. Are everywhere. you really? Three was great. Okay, it was good, but I don't know. Some of I mean, three part that like, 80s, You know, the the whole idea of the movie theater and. Oh, I love that. I love. Uh, I think season two had the best soundtrack. Uma Thurman. Sure, I'm a music guy. Uma Thurman's daughter came in, her first big acting gig, and she fucking nailed it. Oh, she was great. Uh, you know, new characters, new character arcs. You know, that ending scene. Spoiler alert: When you know, you know, Eleven's reading the note, and they're playing heroes, and you're like, you're shedding a tear, but you're like, I'm not crying. You are. You know, you know, hearing Hopper's voice and then fucking they're like, boom, nah, dude, but Hopper went to I was Russia. Gonna say, you want to know what really happened to Hopper? Go to the Stranger Things experience and you'll find out what happened to Hopper. <laughs> boom, that's how we're going to get your money, man. <laughs> Netflix is like, question. we got you. <laughs> Do you guys think that we're going to get more Stranger Things uh, mazes when season four comes out? No. Uh... Maybe. I think they're so riding on the success of this drive-through experience that I don't think we'll see HHN or Stranger Things return to HHN. And like, nah, fuck you, Universal. We don't need you. We don't need you. Well, anymore. look, I mean, okay. About all of us except for Sammy went to that, right? I, I didn't, I didn't go. go to it. I didn't go to I it. I didn't go. So me and Will just went to it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Will, look at how good that was. It was fantastic. I mean, that, that made was... up for season two maze hands down. Like. It's so popular that they're extending. They keep extending dates, even though they want to take it on tour. Wait, is it is it still going? It's still going. They just extended more dates. 
Are you yeah. fucking I'm, kidding it's me? It's been going on since, I'm, I'm still getting, since October. Dude. Yeah, I'm still getting ads for it and to get tickets. Yeah, and dude. And I went there opening night, and then when I get ads for it, I'm like, this shit's still going on? Like, holy hell, dude. Like, you Logan guys Rob, really are no making, excuse. You're making a killing off this yeah. thing, dude. <laughs> my only, my only excuse is it, it, it's just, I think it's a little tad. It, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me otherwise. It looks a little overpriced, in, from my opinion, for a drive through. I feel like I feel that's like the, the only reason wise, I haven't gone. The price wise is a little a little expensive, but mm. it is such a good performance that if any. By the way, if any of the scare actors from that are watching this, hit me up because I want to interview some of you guys. Wait, quick question: Is it going on in June? Still? I have no idea. I have to. Okay. I, I'll give At it a this look. Rate, you coming probably. down in June? You coming down in June? I might be coming down in June. If it goes mm-hmm. down, I'll, so, I'll look into it. If it is, I'll get us tickets. For sure. Okay. You just got to let me know what date you're coming. Uh, we'll figure it out. Rob, Hill House? Uh, I mean, you guys pretty much said everything, uh, really. I, I, this maze is, has potential. I, I mean, I, I loved uh, Haunting a Hill House the uh, first season. I started watching Bly Manor, and about four episodes in, I was just like, this ain't Hill House, <laughs> and then I turned it off. Um, but yes, there's, Even there's give so more, give me more of a reason why Will should not watch it. You no, know, I, I, <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> I always say everyone should watch it for themselves and decide for themselves. Cause everyone has their own opinion about everything, but watching, watching Honey and Hill House. Yes. There's so many, um, I guess scenes, you know, the, the, you talk about the, the, the morgue, you talk about the, the manor itself, but to me, I I really want to see, and I don't I don't know how difficult it would be to do, but I really want to see some of like the out like around the manor, some of the outdoor environment, like just just different statues and stuff that I want to see something like kind of go out that way. I think it would be really cool. But um, overall, I honestly I feel like this possibly might be like, and it sounds weird to say, but my meat might be like the sleeper best maze potentially um at least the underdog yeah like maybe no one's really thinking about it because you know we have the taste of bly manor um you know in our head like all that that and and then people really i don't think have watched uh honey hill house since it since it's came out and it's been a while so i think that people are kind of sleeping on 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 this maze and oh you know it might not be that great or but i think them putting it in the soundstage that just gives me more hope that they have they have an idea that this maze is going to be one of the better mazes there. I, I have to agree with you on it being the underdog because 2019, I called out that Ghostbusters was going to be that underdog maze. A lot of people were talking shit about it when it got announced, obviously it being too funny to be a maze and all that, but that fucking maze knocked it out of the park. That was easily probably number two or number three on my, my favorite mazes of 2019. Like, it, it was that damn good. Um, That's my second favorite of all time. All time. And I called it too. That was top of my... Yeah. Uh, anticipated list fucking killer i knew that was going to be the underdog i knew that was going to get a lot of good impressions on people i mean obviously i knew the one that was going to take it that year was killer clowns from outer space because not not for my soul liking but i know a lot of people liked it and just seeing the wait times for that maze every night proved me right oh yeah Um, so it it, it, i I think hill house will be that underdog maze if it does come to the event this year i I think a lot of people like you said are forgetting about that first season and now hearing this they're probably going to go back and rewatch that first season and it's going to get them hyped to you know come see that uh but i also think a lot of people because of the unsuccessful you know season two that they had you know not not exactly the reactions they were hoping probably think that this maze is going to be a failure because this maze was originally supposed to promote bly manor in 2020 Due to the pandemic, obviously that didn't happen. So now we're getting it again, but we shall see. I think it's going to be a solid maze. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of potential, like everyone keeps saying. We got to hurry up and wrap this up. We got two more mazes, and it's the two newest locations that we've never seen at Halloween Horror Nights ever. Right behind the Curious George parking garage, across the way from the big blue background in the back lot. Uh, We got the first one, and this is is an interesting one because I want to see how they can do a sequel to this. The Curse of Pandora's Box number two, man. What do we think? How, how do you go even further than A Beautiful Maze that was already made in 2019? Like, how do you expand that story? I'm going to start with uh, Sammy. How do you expand that Greek mythology story of The Curse of Pandora's Box? Well, yeah, it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, there's a, a lot of mythology to pull from. Um, and so um, just make it more twisted. Uh, continue to have fun. 
Um, even if they did, even if they did the same maze and just made some improvements to it, I think that would be completely fine with that, given the circumstances of the year. Um, but I, I'm curious. I have no idea. It's an original maze, so I don't know how they're going to pull it off. But I know that at least for me, I think Pandora's box. When I think off the top of my head, was probably my third favorite in 2019. Um, it might have. I mean. Anywhere from three to five is kind of difficult for me. And so I, I definitely think it'll be a good maze again. So, I I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for it. I'm hoping, like, I'm crossing my fingers it actually comes. Let's bring back that giant opening door again, and we'll be fine. Oh, that was sick. That was yeah, beautiful. The door was beautiful sick. effect. Rob, what are your thoughts? Pandora's box, too. Well, uh, gentlemen, please don't get upset with me, but this was my favorite maze of that year. Um, I am a huge fan of the mythology. Uh, I like that stuff. So, you know, walking in that, that the first room, it's kind of, you know, you have all those artifacts and everything. I loved it. Um, the, the color schemes that they use just, you know, through every, through every room I walked in, I was just like, I had a hard time getting scared because I was just so taken back by, you know, the, the, the color, the way, the way certain things looked and, and, I'm excited for them to bring this back again. Again, like Sammy said, there's, a, I guess I could use the word, a plethora of material for them to pull, you know, with the mythology. So um, it's hard to be like, oh, well, this or this or that. But I think, it, you know, if they do it the way they, you know, they did the first Pandora's box and kind of expand on that, I'm going to enjoy it as well. So I'm actually most excited uh for this maze to return if it does return fingers crossed for me yeah i mean greek mythology i'm, I'm a huge fan of greek mythology from the gods to just the war stories and everything the even titans the titans yeah i mean just if we saw even a twisted version of the greek gods you know that could be really cool like a a beat up and decayed zeus or something like that you know what i mean like that could be really cool or have hades come out you know yeah, it'd be really cool to see all these Greek gods, Poseidon, you know, all these people come out and they just all look decayed and destroyed and messed up and all, you know, run down and whatnot. You know, even that could be a good scare if you if you do it right. Uh, Will, obviously, uh, this was one. I remember you were at the event a lot, too, so you probably went through a couple times. W what do you think of a sequel, man? Oh, I mean, I, I'm super excited. That first that first maze really, um, I think I have a similar problem where three to four you know, with Sam, three to five is pretty iffy. It's got to fall somewhere in there. Super strong maze. Uh, actually, first time I went through, I was with the butler at the front of that group, and we see this door fucking swing open, and we nearly shit ourselves. It was just beautiful. And um, I think, yeah, I, I didn't even really think about that before, but um, there is so much material that they can pull from that, you know, um, I think it can only be great things. And also when uh, this, that maze seemed to be like heavy on reusing a bunch of old props and a bunch of really incredible old props too. So if it follows that same trend, it could be cheap, easy, and fucking beautiful. So I don't see a downside. I, I agree. Logan, what did, what did you think of Curse of Pandora's Box in 2019? And how do you feel about a sequel if it comes this year? I thought it was really good. I was really pleasantly surprised. I'll admit when I first, uh, when it was first announced, uh, I, I wasn't super excited for it just because I wasn't used to Horror Nights doing original mazes, but it proved that they can pull off some pretty damn good original content. Because I think they used to do original mazes when the event was fresh in the, in the 90s. They do, it, I think, if I remember reading correctly. So this is the first time in a long time since they've brought anything original. I'll be honest, when, when they first announced Pandora's Box, or since it was first leaked, I guess, or rumored I, I thought that might be a hint at a hellraiser maze because of the box still holding out hope one day we'll get one of those but nonetheless i was very excited when i uh, that it was so good I, I was i remember kind of being like rob and going it's just I, I was hard to get scared because of how impressive it was i was constantly looking around i, I will admit a pandora's box too i'm skeptical about i'm skeptical how they're going to do a sequel to that. I, I was hoping if they were going to do an original maze, they would have done All Hallows Evil. I really liked that little walkthrough they did. I loved it. And I'm just, I love everything Halloween themed. So was, that would have been a really cool maze and maybe they'll do it maybe next year. But no, um, I, 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 will, I won't say I'm excited for it, but I'm not doubtful that it'll be a great maze regardless. 
See, I was I was on board with either All Hallows Eve becoming an original or Spirits and Demons of the East because I feel like Spirits yeah. and Demons of the East could have yeah. killed it. You know, I mean, yeah, with with over there, you know, in 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 countries such as China and Japan, they have a rich rich history of of just you know battling samurais, you know, and and just a, a history of like a lot of cursed and and stuff objects from over those battle years. So, just to kind of get a glimpse of that world bring it into a maze it would have been really cool you know what i mean like you could have started out like at a dock you know you're at a dock with all these shipping crates and then something happens where they get set loose and so you're starting to see all the history of these these countries and whatnot and and kind of really see the horror in it as well so i mean they did it they did a tremendous job with that maze or that scare zone with of course the four-legged stilt walker you can't forget that like that was easily the yeah. most iconic thing of that scare zone so definitely to kind of get i would have loved to get a backstory of who that was or what that was you know and, and just kind of get a backstory of a lot of these characters which is really cool the, i'm with you on that yeah the last one i saved for last um save the best for last it's tattooed right there on logan's body um mr beetlejuice the one we all want to come to the event the one we all got to see a preview of last year with orlando orlando executed it so beautifully uh i'm i'm still i, I mean i called this one when they first that tent first popped up i said that's probably easily going to be beetlejuice Hands down. Oh, hat switch. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. That hat, beautiful hat Orlando. game is strong. That Orlando merch. I got one, too, but it's in my room. I'm not going to run all the way and go get it. But nonetheless, that's what the hat looks like. So there you go. Glows in the dark and everything. Um, Beetlejuice, uh, you know, was rumored since 2020 to be coming to the event. It, it's pretty much confirmed at this point because of Orlando. What do we want to see in Beetlejuice? Do we think it's going to live up to the hype? Logan, talk to me about Beetlejuice, man. <laughs> Do you have about two hours of your time? <laughs> uh, let me just let me just start off with um, this. My this know that my wallet will be drained with all the Beetlejuice merch and Halloween three merch that they're gonna be giving us. It's gonna buy hopefully, all the giving us. It's gonna buy all the posters. Oh my god, all the dude! I, I I just feel spoiled this year. Halloween three and Beetlejuice in the same year. I'm. I feel I feel like a kid in the candy store. Like I'm 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 so excited. Uh, I remember in 2019 uh, commenting on one of uh, Horror Nights' posts and totally I, it was like two paragraphs of just pitching them a Beetlejuice maze and I got like 200 likes and I'm hoping they saw it and like you know what this kid's right we should do that <laughs> in 2020. So, anyways, nonetheless, I I'm I'm so excited. I words can't describe how excited I am for this maze. It's obviously one of my favorite movies of all time so i'm excited to see what murdy's gonna do to it i know i feel like murdy and i are on the same energy level with, with some of these movies i know he's gonna do it justice uh, i'm really excited to see what they're gonna cook up for us just the thought process of you know opening night red carpet event we could possibly see michael keaton and tim burton on the <sighs> red carpet you know what i mean even alec baldwin could show up you know just you know, I, I just, the, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of movies here. I mean, just imagine John Carpenter damn showing up for freaking Halloween three, man. You know, oh, that would be cool. That would be bitching, <laughs> man. You know, there's a lot yeah, the the cast of Hill House. I can see them being there. Um, totally. Freaking. I don't know who would show up for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It looks like almost everyone at this point is probably <laughs> passed on, sadly. Pos possibly maybe Jessica Biel. She, I think she would show up. There you, there you go. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, just so much, you know, just thinking of red carpet events and, you know, just the fact that Michael Keaton will probably walk through that maze because that's one of his most iconic characters in cinema. You know what I mean? So uh, who do you think uh, if, if if there was going to be a – if there was going to be like a – person outside the maze like a twitter password person what, what would uh i can honestly see that being beetlejuice himself yeah i can see it being be or uh winona Ryder's what, character well winona Ryder. i was gonna say winona Ryder. i think they might obviously like the dress or like the black goth out outfit you know something yeah. like that i would say and that's something we haven't even talked about touched on yet i would say beetlejuice would be that maze for a password to get ex something exclusive totally i mean it's it's, totally. it's kind of obvious at this point like I mean, Curse of Pandora's box, maybe, but Beetlejuice is likely to have the password because it's a fun maze, much like Ghostbusters was, you know. And and there's a lot you can even trans, you can you can you know trade places be between Beetlejuice and Winona Ryder's character if you wanted to. So, 
I mean, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Imagine talking to Beetlejuice, yeah. giving him a password, and him just bullshitting with you, like. Well, because they pretty much have that at the at the regular park. They've got a, a guy dressed up as right. Beetlejuice. It'd be nothing new for them. That they right. could yeah. totally do that. I mean, you know, if I'm sorry, if I hold up the line talking to Beetlejuice for about two hours, you know, but you know, <laughs> at that point, it's just a podcast. You know, I got the camera equipment. You know, Rob's going to be filming it. You know, oh, you know, Sammy and I will be asking the hard hitting questions of Beetlejuice. Like, you know, how's business going? How did the pandemic treat you? You know, um, <laughs> what is it? Beetlejuice or Beetlegeist? You know, <laughs> what do you like to be called? Uh just me walking out of the park with handfuls of whatever they're fucking passing out. <laughs> we just take like, all shit merchandise. Yeah. Yeah. Sound them outside the park for like five bucks each. <laughs> no, we don't do that here. We we love everyone. Um, Will, what do you think about Beetlejuice, man? This is something that was heavily teased on 80s night last year. If you if anyone went to Thursday night, 80 nights, Beetlejuice was 2019, the host. right? 2019, 2019, right? 2019. Yeah. Um, heavily teased during the 80s nights. He was the host. Uh, what do you think of him finally getting his full-time attraction, man? Oh, oh my God. I am so excited. Beetlejuice is one of my all-time favorite movies. My only, my only thing I would change would be, I would want this to be the soundstage maze. I just think that they could have utilized those massive fucking rooms and, you know, weather effects and whatnot. 100%. Regardless, I think that it's maybe the perfect Horror Nights property. I think, you know, with uh, Killer Clowns and Ghostbusters especially, it really shows that John's got that um, got that knack for a bit of a comedic edge to his mazes. And I've noticed that he really, like, comes to life and he really hits his stride with, like, color and, like, kind of doing some wacky shapes and, you know, getting crazy with it. And I think this is literally the perfect property. Like, I just can't picture anything better. Hey, John. Yeah. Wackiness. Make it crazy. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. All right. <laughs> Catch you for lunch next week. <laughs> got you, Will. I got you. I got you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. But you I got, mean, you thought Rob had the connections. <laughs> I, I got him too. Yeah, right. Yeah. I got the connections through Anthony. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's the only reason why I got the number. It's a, it's a chain of, you know, chain of command. Yeah. There you go. It's gonna be good though, man. It's gonna be good. Um, it's gonna be a fun time. I really think. Uh, who do we? Rob, did you go yet? Not yet. Not I'm starting yet. to lose my mind here. Rob, go for <laughs> it. So I mean, once again, you guys have said everything. Be- um, Beetlejuice is, I feel like, in my mind, Universal Studios. You, you know, I've seen them since I was a young lad going into uh, Universal Studios, and the interaction you have with him is amazing. His sarcasm. His sense of humor is awesome. And just throwing that in a maze. I mean, I know we, uh, we've we seen some of the footage from last last year, uh, what Orlando got. But we all know Murdy's going to do his own thing with it. He's going to put his own spin. And I think uh, just like, like how you had said, Will, you know, he's kind of, I think, hit an excellent stride with these like these comic kind of mazes with, with, with horror elements. So, uh, you know, I'm excited for it. I think it's, you know, it's, it, I don't know if it's going to be the best maze, but I have no doubt in my mind that it would probably be the funnest maze at the event. Definitely. And last but not least, the man with the hat, man, Mr. Samuel Martinez. What do you think about Beetlejuice coming to the event? Yeah. I, uh, it's going to be a complete waste of space. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Trigger I, warning, how dare you? <laughs> I agree completely with Will said. The only problem is it's not in a sound stage. Right. And um I, I mean it's like it deserves nothing but love. Um and it's gonna be the Ghostbusters of twenty twenty one because Ghostbusters, although fun and lighthearted was deceptively scary at times because you're because I feel like your wall is so much down because you're having so much fun enjoying all the colors, shapes, and all the vibrancy that it brings. They hit you out of nowhere sometimes, and you're like, "Oh, dang! I'm in a maze still. I forget." Like, right? Um, uh, especially you know, and I feel like if they give the all of the Beetlejuice characters the opportunity to make fun of you throughout the maze too. That'll be even better because, like, there'd be nothing funnier than you getting scared and be like, ah, got you. Yeah, definitely. I agree, man. I think this is going to be a fun maze. I think the event from speculated maps looks solid. 
This is something that we needed in return. I think uh, Rob put it best when he said seven mazes, wouldn't even be pissed. This is a, a solid comeback for Horn Knights. I think this is probably one of the best lineups, in my opinion, since 2016. Um, and I, I really can't wait. I hope all of this comes to the event 2021. Um, but until then, until we get an official announcement from when, you know, tickets go on sale to first mazes, which I'm hoping will be in the next month or so, um, we'll keep you all up to date. Uh, Will is going out there to the parks every now and then to get you guys construction updates. Um, so it's been fun editing those and it's like me watching it as the first time as a viewer too. I get to see like, oh man, look at this. This looks like it's coming up. So, um, thank you to Will. He's going to continue to do that, uh, as long as he can get a reservation to go into the park and he's got the time. He'll get. He'll be down there for a thing. So if you see him at the parks, give him a little hello. Hey, Luke, hey, Anthony. Hi. Anthony, up? there is one. There is one thing that we did forget to touch on, and that is, are we getting Terratram? Are we getting Terratram? Is the are million dollar question tram? everyone has because of the? It was recent, on the survey. Recent the survey, survey saying that they would do uh, seven mazes along with the Terratram. Uh, are we getting it back? It's not on the speculated map, but that doesn't mean shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it, it's I mean, coming back. It could come back. I think ninety percent. I think personally, it would be a smart move to bring it back because of COVID. Um, so I think it would be really smart to have an outdoor type, you know, maze walkthrough, uh, especially of how big that 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 area is and that space is. You can easily social distance that and everything. But who knows what will be come time September? Yeah. We could yeah. have no social distancing. We could be maskless. Or we could still be wearing masks and three fifty social distancing. Who knows? Um, but come time September, we'll, we'll definitely probably be a different time than it is right now. Um, so only time I think will it tell. Would, I think it would help crowds too, because there's a lot of people that they could put back in the back lot going through that wall. You know, and, and, and I, that's my only gripe about 2019 was that there was no terror trap. So lines felt extra long at times because they could fit so many people, you know, trams would just keep coming through and, you know, some, and it says since it's outside, we can get enough people back there to where lines and the other mazes will hopefully not be as long and, you know, and uh, social distancing will be, I think, uh, not just because it's an outdoor um, activity, but just because it, it can get more people into a different area of the park is all I guess I'm trying to say. But. I will say this for the first time since I believe 2012 or 2013, it's looking like we're going to get no Metro sets this year. Yeah. The kind of a bummer. bummer. Yeah. Um, no, uh, toxic tunnel, bro. No toxic. Six, with six, like six, five X. Six, 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 yeah. <laughs> we love us. Some toxic six, 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 six tunnel. <laughs> um, it's looking it's kind of depressing because yeah toxic tunnel does have a little special place in my heart especially when they're playing like the punk rock last you know 2019 yeah they're playing some misfits and stuff and some like misfits, that was, some psycho billy freak out you know yeah. bringing back to guitar hero 2 and i'm like oh dude yeah. there's a psycho billy freak i'm over there moshing inside the damn thing <laughs> yeah. you know uh, Anthony Anthony's so tall that people just mistake him for a mot for one of the yeah, scary. You see me mocking, you're like oh this guy's here scary and i'm like no i'm just having a good time man you're gonna have a good time uh, oh. But, you know, the, the little scares when they have going into those mazes, you know, it's almost like a little maze of itself. And, you know, all this, and you know. I, I just realized, I just realized, Anthony, that because I, I haven't seen you in person in, in a while, because of how tall you are, I, I feel like you'd be a good leather face. Murdy, if you need an, 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 another leather face for the Texas Chainsaw Maze, call Anthony. I think give me, give me a guest spot for the night, bro. I got you. I'll take care <laughs> of you real good, Murdy. I'll bring in the money. He's really good with chainsaws, too. I really am. I mean, you seen the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I can replicate that, no problem. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on, man. And uh, we even got, you know, I've, I've been talking to Logan a lot lately. I know you're going back to Knots pretty soon. So Saturday. So I was gonna tell you guys. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be joining. I'll be joining you guys midstream on that Halloween thing. I'm yeah. not sure how late they're gonna be open, but, but uh, I'll be over there. Logan's gonna try to get some some footage, from maze tree, you know, maze fo footage, man. Uh, I don't see yeah. very many maze construction updates going on at Knots, and I want to provide you guys with that info of how it's going, how it's looking, and what better way to do it than have, you know, the rock star of the group to uh, help us out, man. It's it's awesome. Uh, so uh, I'm excited for Knots. I'm a big horror nights guy, but Knots has a special place in my heart. So I'm excited to see if there's any more updates on that. So. Yeah, man. I'll be contacting you shortly to see tell you all the. You probably know them too, but where to go, how to get the best footage and whatnot. So take care of that soon. But, you know, we have a lot of stuff planned here, guys. A lot of stuff. 
It's looking like a good event, looking like it's going to be a good Halloween haunt season. I'm really looking forward to it. We got a whole new event that until we get more information for, uh, we, you know, Hollow Scream is coming this That's year. That's right. SeaWorld San Diego. Very excited for that one. A whole new haunt event, a whole new, you know, I've heard so much good things on the East Coast. I can't wait to experience it on the West Coast. So when we get more information about other haunts, we'll let you guys know. But until then, I don't know the next time you'll ever see all five of us in a thing. So you may have to cherish this again? moment this one time because <laughs> this may not happen cherish for another it. year. You know? Oh, and can I have one more thing too? Yes, sir. About uh, backlot and all that kind of stuff. It is only what today's the second of May, right? Right. It is only the second of May. In previous years, we didn't see any construction until like June, third July, or fourth week of May, early June. Yeah. So, and also they just wrapped up. Uh, I don't know if I caught it on video, but when I was there, they were just wrapping up filming of American Ninja Warrior in the Metro sets, which is massive construction, which takes up the entire area. Right. Um, and there were tent, there were white tents in the places where there normally is stuff. So I wouldn't count anything off for the back lot in particular. It gives more room for everyone to space out. You know, it could soak up a lot more crowd. I agree. That would be congested in the main park. Yeah. And I don't know. Maybe we'll get a surprise maze back there. I don't know. Or uh, maybe uh, an extra large gauntlet or something back there. That would be really cool. That's a a good idea. Be a lot of fun. Let's stretch it out from like the start where we usually have it. We'll stretch it out all the way to like where Frankenstein meets the Wolfman's at and then go to Ghostbusters and then where Creepshow was at and then ends and then you just go back up. Yeah. Like that'd be a fun time. Marty, Marty, I I hope you're watching. We're we're, we're giving you some good ideas. Give me the ideas, man. All we ask (laughs) is just, you know, maybe give us a little red carpet action. If not, you know, I'll I'll, I'll still pay for the event. You know, I'm still going to (laughs) go. Maybe that's where they do Creature from the Black Lagoon. Take you down to the little, like, yeah. uh, Guys, I swear to God, if I'm going to say this right now, if next year we get a creature from the Black, from, from, from a creature maze in any capacity, whether it's a full maze or he's in a maze. You know they're listening right here. Like you know they're <laughs> listening. <laughs> yeah, man. It always happens. It always happens to me. If I make like the year prior, I'll say something about a property, and then it freaking happens. It happens, man. <laughs> you, no, you, you gotta you gotta write them like a like a a two part paragraph thing about it. Like just send them in. <laughs> send them in, man. With all that being said, if you guys made it this far into the video, you guys are fucking champions. Um. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed our talk about HHN, another episode of the Knights of the Round Table. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, don't know when this crew is all going to be back like this ever again. This was very lucky to get next everyone. Year. Next, next year. This May time 2nd. next year, you can expect next that. Next May 2nd. Uh, but until then, we will see you guys uh, real soon. Don't forget, live stream, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time this Saturday. Uh, we're doing Halloween and Halloween 2018 uh, for halfway to Halloween. Um and uh, updates, everything will be coming out weekly, podcasts and all that. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe with that bell notification where every time we put up a new video. Follow us on social media at the Knights of Horror on Instagram and at Knights of Horror on Twitter. And uh, we will see you guys real soon for another update. Peace. You're moving into a dimension of-